So welcome back everybody. As you can see in the beginning of this video, this garage is jam packed at the moment with a whole bunch of stuff from the previous video and from a hedge job the following Monday morning. And now it's Wednesday. We're going on vacation soon in like a week. And I'm scrambling to get everything done with mowing. And I just jammed everything back in here because I didn't feel like putting it away. Well, now I have all this in here. Now it's time to put it away. If I can move this trailer. So I can hook back up to it. This trailer's going back behind the garage. Loader's coming off the trailer. I left the mower deck out and it poured for two days. So it's soaked, but what are you gonna do? Uh, the tractor was inside. I had it wedged in here. And you can hear that idling behind me. Turn the lights on. We're gonna hook up to this. We're gonna take all stuff off of it that's on here except this garbage can this is from the hedge job full of stuff i also had a bucket full of stuff because i just used the tractor for that but i already dumped that now it's time to get rid of this too so we're gonna hook up to this trailer now As you can see here, we have the John Deere lawn tractor back, Massey. This is the only tractor at this point that actually works. And you're gonna see why I'm saying that in a little in a couple minutes, but the solenoid, I think you can see it in here. The solenoid in here. That went, that fried. You can see right here where it melted the, the cable from the battery. So then bought a new one of these. And then, actually you can see right here, this is the old one, melted right here, this is the new one. Then, we took the starter off, because that didn't make it fire. And I looked online last night for a starter, or yesterday, and right from John Deere's website, it was two weeks to a month, it was back ordered, you couldn't get it. So I'm going to try a couple places today. Uh, two John Deere dealers around here. We're gonna call two, and I'm gonna go up to a lawn tractor uh, person that fixes these kind of things. See if he even has like a used one, because I don't need a new one. And then see if we can get this running. And then we're gonna take these tire, tire chains. Off. These tire chains are gonna come off. We're gonna keep the wheel weights on. Get the tire chains off. Probably need a little air in them. Oh yeah, they're flat. And then so. You guys saw in a previous video that we use this one to maintain our other house and the other property over there. Well, right now, this one doesn't work because I took it back to other people's grass. And now, over here on the back of my car still because I didn't take it off from yesterday. This is the other tractor we have. And this one also does not start for some reason. It started in the beginning of the season. And... When we tried to cut with it for the first time, it didn't start. And then we never really fixed it because we had our tractor up there. And that one was fine. And we just used that one to cut until 
now, and it's now almost the end of, it's in the, middle, it's the middle of August, and it doesn't work anymore. So we need to fix one of them. So I went up, I brought this one down yesterday. We're gonna get this off the trailer. And I have some lawns to cut today, but it's been raining for like two, three days straight. So we're going to, I'm probably just gonna push my one in the front yards and tell the other yard I can't do it because it's too wet. And then we're gonna try to go see if we can find a starter for our John Deere. And he's gonna take this apart one of these days and try to figure out what's wrong with this one. All right, so trailer's unloaded, as you can see. Put that right there. I'm just gonna leave that there because I need the trailer soon. Uh, I'm gonna take my push mower, cones, weed whacker, leaf blower. I'll show you that when I get that loaded for a little bit later when we go out and cut some grass. I actually might do that this morning because I know his front yard, where, where I'm going, the front yard won't be wet. It'll just be the backyard, but that's fine. I just won't cut the backyard, and I'll give him half a credit for that one. So, oh, I think I'm going to go do that now, and then I have to cut our front grass because it looks horrible, and it really needs some attention. So, that's what we're going to go do now. This is all we need for now. I'm my weed whacker, mower, this, cones because we're going to be down by a busy road. And then I am going to go do that, and then... That's enough of me talking. Probably the next video you're gonna see. I'm gonna be doing our yard because it's gotten out of hand. Do a lot of weed whacking in our yard, do all that. But for right now, we'll only get this. Maybe I'll go right up after this to get the starter for our John Deere. See if that works. But I'm cutting our, our front grass with the Massey today. I'll cut that with the Massey. And then we're not getting in our backyard because it is soaked. So that is what I'm going to go do right now. Mm -hmm. 